In this uh, example, we have a database with three tables. We've got a store database, uh, sorry, stores table that has a store ID, store address, a town ID, and a region ID. And the town ID is linked to our towns table, which has town ID, region ID, and town name. and also the region ID which is mapped to the regions table which has a region ID and a region name and in this example we're going to explain how to display the stores table but uh, instead of using instead of displaying the town ID and region ID we'll actually display the town and the region name and also when we add a new record how we can select from the town list and region list Okay, so we'll open blue box, select new project, call it store finder, select a connection, this the uh, default root connection, and we'll select our store finder database, finish. We now have got our tables imported and project created. Create a new page. I'll just use the empty page. Called index, select OK. It's the stores table we're interested in, so I'll select the. I'll change the table layout, and I'll just want to reduce some of the icon sizes. Just see detail, edit, and delete icons and we'll just drag the data box into the content rebuild the page okay so that's expecting to see so we've got our store ID, the store address the store town ID and the store region ID we'll turn off the store ID as we don't want to see that and refresh now we're now going to change the store town ID and store region ID so it actually displays the town name and region name instead of the IDs so if we go to the store town ID item, right click edit, we'll select map display, we're going to map it to towns, we're mapping the town ID is what we have and we actually want to display the town name, we select OK, rebuild the page, OK this now shows the town names and we do the same for region ID, select the region ID, right click, edit map display, set the table we're interested in, it's the regions table this time where the information is we've actually already got the region ID the ID is here and we're going to map it so we actually display the region name and select OK and rebuild OK so there's our towns and our region names and I'm just going to create two column filters so we can filter by town and by region if I go back to the data box, select town select filter, filter tab Unchecked filters text, display filters table. This is the towns item, so I select the towns table. The uh, ID is uh, how we're going to select it. We want to keep the ID because that's what goes into the into the table when we add. And we're actually going to display the town name. If I rebuild. Yep. So those are our towns. And same for the region now. Select the region item turn on the filter, not filter as text, filter from a table this time it's regions, region ID again is, is what we're using and the region name is what we want to display we now rebuild the item, rebuild the page ok so that's our regions so we can now filter and we can further filter by Okay, so there's our filtering. What I'm going to do now is just uh, select the add and the edit so that we also use drop down lists so we don't have to type in. This reduces any possible uh, errors being introduced to the records we're adding. So I'm just going to select the add edit box, open it, 
the store address I'm just going to keep as an input text box but the talent ID I'm going to let the user select from a list so I select the town ID it's going to be a list menu again from a table it's the towns table and again we're going to use the ID as the is the full field input we want but we actually want to view the town name because it's user friendly and we'll do the same for region again select list select from the table this time regions region ID is correct and the region name if we now rebuild and we go to add so we can see we can add a new store address and the town we have to select from and the region we have to select from obviously Kendall is not in Yorkshire and submit and if we now look okay so there's our new import we can now edit this and Kendall obviously in Cumbria and resubmit and the address has been changed okay so that uh, concludes this short demo on how we can actually map what our IDs in our database to the readable user information